Hey everyone, welcome to In The Beyond. Today I'm back channeling another timeless pick a card reading for you guys. And today I'm going to be channeling a message from the astral plane. So what do you guys need to know from the astral plane? We have three piles to choose from today. Pile one, we have the medicine shield. And we also have this Amazonite and Smoky Quartz crystal. For pile two, we have the Great Mystery card, as well as this Howlite Stone. And for pile three, we have the Lodge card, as well as this Jaguar Jasper. So see which crystal and which card is really calling out to you today, and that is going to be the pile that has a message for you. Pause the video if you need to take more time to meditate. And I will see you all at your timestamp below, which is in the description box. But yeah, let's get into this reading. Let's see what's in the cards and let's go in the beyond. Hey, pal one, if you guys were drawn to the Amazonite and the Smoky Quartz Crystal, as well as the Medicine Shield card with protection, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what the astral plane wants you guys to know. So, I'm going to pull some more tarot cards for you guys. But I think the message coming from the astral plane is around how you're kind of guided and protected. You ha I think you have a lot of strong guides who really see you clearly um, in the astral plane. And I think you have a lot more protection than you might know about there as well. But yeah, let's get into these cards. A message from the astral plane for group one. Ooh, we have the root of cups, the sun, the magician. Ooh, the harvest of stones and the flower of thunder. This is really beautiful. Okay, so with these cards coming out, you guys have, like I was saying, a lot of protection and a lot of guides in the astral plane. And you might know that or you might not know that. Um, we have the eagle coming out twice. You have strong spirit guides in the astral world. I think you have strong protection as well. So if you feel called to, I think you're being guided to go deeper into astral travel. Maybe you've been a little nervous about doing it because you don't know if your energy is protected. But this reading is saying you are very guided when you astral travel. You're very protected and you have a lot of spirit guides and strong support from the, um, from the astral realm. And we, look, we have strength at the bottom of the deck. Um, so you have a lot of strength coming from the astral realm. You have a lot of protection. You have a lot of people guiding you. And if you ever felt like you have enemies, um, I don't think you need to worry about that when you're astral traveling because you have all of these guides and all of this um, spiritual energy like supporting you and protecting you. But let's get a deeper message or like go further with this message. A message from the astral realm for my group one. Group one. What does group one need to know today from the astral realm? Oh, we have the two of earth here with witch hazel. Beautiful energy. The Ten of Earth with Horsetail. The Six of Earth with Pine. The Adelita of Earth with Yucca. We also have the Eight of Earth with Ginger. Oh, sorry, Eight of Fire with Ginger. Okay, so we have four Earth cards here. This is letting me know, like, you are very grounded and protected in the spirit world, in the astral plane. Um, with all of these beautiful cards coming out, I'm just getting such a strong feeling of how supported you are by energies in the astral plane. 
You are deeply supported by stable, strong, resilient energies. I'm getting a lot of ancestral energy, a lot of energy around um, your strong foundation and grounding. The astral plane just really wants, honestly, they want you to know how loved you are, how supported you are, how much magic you hold, and how the beings in the astral plane view you as somebody who is a alchemist and magician and somebody who can transform energy and somebody who um somebody who requires and your presence um it allows a lot of respect from the astral world so what i mean by that is like you seem like you are somebody who has very clear vision and has very potent abilities for transformation. And the spirits in the astral realm, they see you as somebody who... The word I'm looking for, it's escaping me, but you almost command a lot of respect and your ancestors and your spirit guides and the beings in the astral plane... Um, they really look to you as somebody who is like worthy and is to be respected in the astral plane and in the spiritual realms. You're very protected, like I said, you are very guided. You, yeah, you're just, you're doing the right thing. Your ancestors see you working on yourself. They see you doing the right things. They see you um, alchemizing and transforming and doing a lot of good for the community and the collective and things like that. So you are very protected. You are very guided, like I was saying. Um, and then, and just like knowing that I think will help you on your travels and on your journeying in the astral world too. And this beautiful eagle is coming out twice. Um, so I feel like you probably have a lot of visions and accomplishments when it comes to the astral plane. I think you're very in tune with what's going on in the spirit realm and you probably have a lot of spiritual visions and goals that you are working towards in the physical world and maybe you're probably even working towards them when you astral travel and when you do dream work and things of that nature. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let's get some more advice or any more guidance that wants to come out in this reading. A message of guidance, advice from the astral plane, pile one, what does pile one need to know? We have owl with sight, detach your emotions from situations that you cannot control. Yeah, and so the owl with sight is giving me the same energy as the eagle, right? They're both winged beings who have really keen vision and the ability the owl can see in the dark, the eagle can see from such great heights. You have the astral plane wants you to know about your abilities of sight and vision, seeing in the dark, seeing um, from great heights, so to speak, your ability to see in the astral realm, your ability to vision and see in the physical realm as well. Ooh, we also have hedgehog with acceptance. Embrace who you are. Yeah, embrace who you are and all these gifts and all these abilities that you have. Um, like I said, you are the magician energy. You are the alchemist. You can transmute. You can transform. You're very aligned with the energy of fire and the transformative energies and powers of fire. You have this beautiful gift of sight as well. We have both of these beautiful fires here. You have um, obviously the gift of sight, like I was saying. I think it's time to embrace yourself. Embrace, um, you might not tell people, you know, about your gifts. You might not be very, you might be very humble. You might not, you know, be somebody who talks about your gifts or talks about the things that you do in the astral realm or the spiritual realm. And that's okay. You don't have to talk about it, but... I think it's just time to kind of like own your power, accept who you are, embrace who you, who you are, and maybe bring aspects of this into your life 
um, more, like bring your abilities of sight and the things you do in the astral realm into your physical world as well. Maybe bring your talents um, into your waking life, into your physical reality, maybe share them with people if you feel comfortable. But yeah, there's just this like, this reading has been really about you and how you have these beautiful, unique gifts. The astral realm kind of wants to, you know, pump you up and give you like a, a pep talk about like your abilities, your gifts. You are supported, you are protected. That's the energy that really came through right now. So yeah, really kind of celebrate yourself, embrace who you are, and focus on your journey of self-acceptance um, and your life journey and like accepting you know maybe your flaws and accepting your gifts as well um seeing yourself as beautiful and unique and talented and worthy of of more joy and community community and things like things like that like sharing these maybe secret parts of yourself with other people and maybe you will learn oh there's other people out there who astral travel and astral project or like have really deep imaginations or have really deep um, dream practices and maybe you'll find a community of people that you resonate with. But yeah, that's really what I'm seeing for you guys, group one. Thank you all so much for being here today. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know how this resonated with you. I always love to read the comments. And I love doing these readings, so thank you guys just so much for being here today, and I hope to see you in one of my next readings. Hey Pile 2, if you guys were drawn to the Howlite Crystal as well as the Great Mystery card, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what message the Astral Plane has for you today. So you were drawn to this beautiful card, and it, it says trust on it, so I'm getting like a feeling of maybe kind of trusting in the messages that you're hearing. Trusting in the divine, trusting in the path, um, the journey, and maybe making more time for meditation and self-reflection and things like that. But let's get into tarot for deeper messages. Um, oh, <laughs> messages from ooh, the astral plane from my pile too. What does pile two need to know from the astral plane? And I'm getting the astral network as well. What does pile two need to know? Ooh. Yeah, this is really about hearing messages. And we have the unseen at the bottom of the deck. So I think the astral network, as I was hearing, the spirit world, you know, all these spiritual beings who communicate um in the astral plane they really want to speak to you about hearing messages from them about how they communicate to you and about the need for rest the need for rest and relaxation to hear their messages because when we get busy in our you know daily lives our modern daily lives when we have so much to do so many places to be so much to think about and get done you know it's harder to hear the voices of spirit and the voices coming from the astral plane um so they're really talking about rest right here in four of stones and you were drawn to the howlite stone and i was drawn to put the howlite stone um into this group but it's really a, a stone of like peace and meditation and resting and calmness and that is what the astral plane is kind of asking you guys uh to focus on so you can be like this moose and you can have these like antlers which are like antenna and they are catching the light which is representing the messages from spirit um i really want you to start to you know learn how the astral spirits communicate to you and like be able to hear and capture their messages so yeah let's see what other cards came out yep wow not even surprised flower of stones 
Ace of Stones, yeah. Okay, Six of Stones. This card has been coming out a lot today. Um, the Ten of Wands, yeah. Release your burdens, release overwork, release stress. Because stress, overworking yourself, overburdening yourself, overscheduling, you know, this is the the kryptonite or like this is the um this is what holds spiritual messages from coming through is when we're too busy to slow down and listen and we also had ooh the ace of cups yeah yeah this is a very clear message um ace of cups here as well as flower of stones this is just you know they're talking about resting they're talking about Engaging with the energy of bear and hibernation and sacred solitude and sacred re re sacred rest, sacred darkness. The bird is speaking. The bird is singing its song. And the spirit wants you to hear their song. The astral plane, the beings in the astral world, they want you to hear what they are saying to you. They want you to hear the messages that come when you astral travel when you imagine, when you um, astral project if you do, or just when you meditate and dream. The bear is a lot about um, the medicine of rest, hibernation, and dreaming, and getting spiritual insights through dreams. Um, so yeah, this is about really hearing the divine messages from the spirit guides, the, the spirit beings on the astral plane, trusting their messages, hearing their messages, making the time to hear their messages, letting them know like you heard their messages by, you know, taking an action that maybe they're asking you to take or making more time in your day-to-day -day life so you can hear their messages more clearly. So taking maybe a half hour a day, to rest, to do nothing, to meditate, whatever you like to do, giving yourself that time so you can start to tune in and hear these astral beings speak to you. Yeah, that was like very beautiful, very clear. Let's pull some more oracle cards for you guys to get any other advice or information from the astral realm. Advice or information from the astral realm. What does the astral realm want you guys to know? Yeah, this is really beautiful. We have the whale with tenderness. Ooh, we have otter initiations. We have deer with trust. So trust has come out twice in this reading. Great mystery with trust and the deer with trust approach the situation with a light heart. Um, so the astral realm is asking for your trust as well. You know, trust that they have messages for you, trust in what in the messages, you know, really start to trust the unseen, trust that things happen for a reason, trust that things happen in certain ways for certain reasons that we can't comprehend. Really focus on your rest, your self-care. The otter spirit to me is a very playful animal um, and an animal that can, you know, take time out from their day to just sit back and float on the water and just kind of admire the beauty of the lake or the pond that they're in. It's a very peaceful and playful energy. This card says initiations be open through this transitional time. So yeah, really focus on, like I was saying, your self-care, being open to messages from the divine and from the astral world and things like that. We also have whale with tenderness. Show compassion and forgive what needs to be forgiven. So show compassion to yourself and others, perhaps, if you need to. Um, perhaps you've been overworking yourself and it's time to just, you know, have compassion for yourself. Um, don't be too hard on yourself if you have been overworking and you haven't been able to, you know, rest and meditate. Just try to be gentle with yourself and make the time to rest and meditate now. Um, 
I feel like the waters are really supporting you. We have these three cards kind of with these three animals in the water. So I think the energy of water, which is just very naturally healing and soothing and calming and peaceful, is supporting you. And the astral plane is trying to get your attention to focus on rest and relaxation and soothing and healing vibes for you guys. Um, so yeah, that's really what I'm feeling from all these cards. Thank you guys just so much for joining me today. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know how this resonated with you. I always love to read the comments and I really love doing these readings. Um, thank you guys so much for being here and I really hope to see you in one of my next readings. Hey group three, if you guys were drawn to the Jaguar Jasper as well as the Launch card, this is going to be a reading. Let's see what message the astral plane has for you today. So I'm going to start by pulling some tarot cards for you guys. Let's see what the astral plane has for you today. What do you guys need to know from the astral plane? Message from the astral plane for my group three. Group three. So you were drawn to the Lodge card, um, this might be talking about like home environment or something around the home. Let's see what com is coming out as well. We have, ooh, the Wheel of Fortune, the High Priestess, interesting, the Three of Wands. The world, the moon. Yeah, I was feeling this card. The six of cups, the two of thunder. This is really interesting kind of energy coming out. Um, I will probably, probably pull some more cards to go deeper because there's a few things going on here. Um, so you were drawn to the council, the lodge card with council. This card talks about, you know, having the sacred community and council to get advice and things like that from people that you trust. And I, I was just picking up a strong like home vibe from this card, um, a strong home vibe. And I was also feeling childhood. And then the six of cups came out. And so the six of cups is really about childhood and you know, those those memories from childhood. And with this reading, there's a few different messages coming out. For some of you, I think you might have, you know, happier memories that you want to recreate and bring into your life and bring into the next chapter of your life. Bring those things that made you happy in childhood into your future. You know, like, you know, like hold your inner child sacred and keep doing things that you loved from childhood that kind of energy but for others of you from the moon card i'm getting specifically this could be talking about more of the more emotional and maybe unhappy memories from childhood and um i'm feeling intense energy coming through from this card and the high priestess um you might have experienced some darker things in your childhood um, at your home. Things like, you know, domestic violence, things like um, a lot of conflict, a lot of um, adversity, a lot of chaos and commotion in the home, things like that, that have maybe left you to have um, emotional imprints of that, which you might be carrying today with you as well. Um, and the astral plane is coming to talk about these things because these things might be more hidden in your subconscious and unconscious, unconscious mind. Um, they may be kind of hidden away, locked away. 
and it might be a time for you to kind of re-examine these things and rediscover these emotions that you felt and how are those old emotions still kind of affecting you um in your life how can you kind of you know once and for all process these emotions that you've experienced during childhood how can you process them how can you release them because we do also have a lot of um energy here around endings and new beginnings i'm picking up so with the world card i'm getting you know like an ending of cycles a completion a full circle and with the three of wands i'm getting like starting something new looking into new horizons starting down a new path so i think the astral realm is kind of coming out and talking about this because I think they want you to complete like unresolved emotional issues from your past. Whew. This is this reading's actually not what I expected. Um but that's beautiful. I love that. I love when that happens. I love when I'm just very surprised by what is coming out in the cards it's so unexpected and needed i feel like this reading um with the two of thunder this is really talking about you know like who you are the feet i'm getting i'm hearing the fetal position um maybe this is talking about things that happened to you during your gestational period when you were in your mother's womb when you were you know in the uterus and you are growing and developing as a fetus i'm just getting a strong womb energy here um maybe you are somebody who is maybe starting their own family and you want to resolve your own emotional turmoil from your own childhood so you don't pass it on to your future children I'm getting that message that could be for one or two people in this pile um but yeah there's just a strong energy around resolving emotional turmoil from our youth and i think it's it's pretty unrealistic to to not have any childhood trauma to not have any um negative childhood experiences that leave emotional imprints on us so there's a this is a spectrum right um trauma is a spectrum we you might be you might have experienced you know like one big trauma traumatic event as a child that kind of left a deep emotional imprint on you like maybe losing a loved one or something like that as a child whereas others of you in this reading will have the I will have completely different experiences where maybe you know every day or every week you are coming up against adversity or you are experiencing trauma in some way um whether that was like financial struggles or more of like the emotional outbursts from caregivers or things like that um it's, it's going to be different for everyone here Everyone has their own unique journey for their own unique life path. And the reading from the astral plane, they are kind of connecting to your subconscious and your unconscious mind here. Um, and they are talking about resolving these emotional traumas from childhood. They're talking about rewiring your brain if that's something that you feel resonates with you so you can kind of experience different emotions so you can experience different new patterns of being so you aren't always kind of in a reactive mode to certain emotional stimuli so you can have new reactions which will create new pathways and which will allow you to see new things for your life and your future and that's kind of really what's coming out. Um, this is oddly very specific and very, very interesting. Um, the Wheel of Fortune here, I feel like this is kind of like blessings from the astral plane as you do this work. As you work through things that have been hidden, maybe buried in your unconscious and subconscious. 
as you kind of resolve these emotional patterns, as you kind of become aware of them and be like, yes, every time, you know, my boss is short with me, I always feel insecure because X, Y, Z happened. Um, you know, that's just one example. It might be like more extreme. It might be like, um, you know, working through abandonment issues. Like every time I don't get a text back from my partner or from my friends, I always feel like I did something wrong or I always feel like I'm, I, um, am punished or, you know, like those kinds of feelings. And the astral plane is asking you to rework these things, rethink them, see them in a new light, a new perspective, come full circle, be an embodied adult who kind of can say, okay, yes, I have these subconscious subliminal um, pathways in my brain that when I feel rejected or when I feel ignored or when I feel abandoned, I have this emotional, um, these emotional pathways fire and I feel this way. Whereas um, once you become aware of these patterns, once you become aware of these um, things that you're feeling, because of your upbringing, your environment growing up, the circumstances you've had, you will be, so you will start to feel very empowered, very embodied, and you will start to feel like, okay, you can stop that emotional pathway from progressing and you can stay very embodied and you can, you can stay very stable and you can, you know, really be empowered and you can say like, you can start to put up boundaries and you can start to weave new pathways in your life. And so when say maybe you made a mistake at work and your boss is like short with you or maybe your boss is you know almost lecturing you you can say okay this has nothing to do with who i am as a person this has nothing to do with you know my abilities my competence um i feel free like i feel like it's all about feeling free from past emotional pain and emotional trauma and like we get trapped in these stories and we get trapped in these um ways of thinking so like at work if you have like a moment like that it's about you know being empowered and being an adult now and and being like okay I'm mature I'm secure you know maybe my boss is being short with me because I made a, a mistake that's okay that happens I'm human I can make mistakes it doesn't say anything negative about me or my abilities or maybe you know like your partner just um hasn't been responding to you and that kind of always has been a trigger for you and it's about you kind of stepping into your power and saying okay maybe my partner is busy this probably has nothing to do with me Maybe they just got caught up with work or they got caught up with um, responsibilities. They will respond to me when they have the time. And that's kind of like just some examples that are coming to my mind, but um, it's all about like rewiring your brain so you can rewire your emotional responses to things in the future. And so you can you can go full circle and you can come out of any like any kind of patterns you've been stuck in and you can feel freedom. I feel like maybe you haven't been feeling really free. Maybe you've been feeling like um, kind of trapped in these ways of thinking and these feelings. Um, so yeah, I'm just getting a lot from the world card. I think you will start to feel free like this figure with the outstretched arms. I feel like you won't be feeling like emotionally burdened and like emotionally exhausted you're you won't be going down these emotional paths anymore as you kind of like re-examine these things as you see more of how the past is probably the cause of these types of issues as well but yeah that's really what i'm seeing for you guys um my apologies for kind of going on a tangent there kind of talking a lot but um 
I hope it was helpful. Let me pull some more um, oracle cards for you guys to get any messages or advice from the astral plane. Messages and advice from the astral plane. Yes, we have the free spirit, horse. Free spirit, give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity. So yeah, you guys need to feel free. You need to feel free from these burdens. You need to feel free from childhood trauma. The astral, astral plane really wants you to feel that sense of freedom. Um, this is all about like your sense of freedom. Um, we also have bear. You are the light. It is safe to step fully into your light. Yeah. So a lot of the times when we have childhood trauma, we don't feel safe. We don't feel safe to take up space in the world. We don't feel safe to be who we are. We don't feel safe to express ourselves. But I think the astral plane, the spirit guides, they really want you to know that it is finally safe to step fully into your light. It is finally safe to be seen and to be who you are and yeah, to express your unique individuality. Um, I think you guys really need a sense of freedom and a sense of safety. So maybe doing some like meditations um, to kind of bring that into your life, bring a sense of ease and freedom into your life, um, a sense of maybe more confidence and abilities to be seen and put yourself out there. That could really help you guys. Snake, Kundalini Rising, channel your creative passion and sensuality. Welcome the transformation. Yeah, you guys are going through a deep transformation right now with the world card as well. Um, you're really transforming, transmuting any childhood trauma and emotional um, burdens and like these stuck emotional patterns perhaps um you're really stepping away from that and stepping into something totally new a sense of freedom you're really shedding a skin so to speak um i, I see you like rewiring your brain stepping into new neural pathways taking your brain into new places um so you're not always like stuck in patterning and you're not stuck in subconscious um unresolved emotions so yeah that's really what i'm seeing for you guys group three thank you all so much for being here today please like and subscribe if you did like this reading and please leave me a comment below letting me know how this resonated with you i always love to read the comments and i really love to do these readings so yeah thank you guys just so much for being here today and i hope to see you in one of my next readings